Hey YouTube, this is Skylar, back with week one of the Healthy Habits series. This week's challenge will kick off month one, which is all about sleep. That's right, getting them Z's and getting up early. This week I'm getting up at 6 a.m., which is about two hours earlier than I normally would get up. Um, I'm trying to get away from the habit of waking up about 30 minutes before I need to leave for work and then scrambling out of bed, throwing some clothes on and shoving whatever snack cake, cheese stick, or whatever portable thing I can find in the cabinet into my face hole while driving to work. Not a great habit. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to break that habit, and in doing so, I set up myself with several rules for this week. So when the alarm goes off at 6 a.m., my four rules are, one, I have to get up by the second snooze alarm. I don't wake up easily, and sometimes bargaining a few extra minutes with my lizard brain makes it a little easier to get up. So I'm gonna keep the snooze button, at least for now. Rule two, feet on the floor by 6.20 a.m. Sometimes I'm awake laying in bed and just kind of moaning like a nervous Tina Belcher. Uh... And three, stretch, take my vitamins, and get dressed for the gym. I have a lot of chronic joint pain, especially in my knees. So stretching first thing in the morning kind of helps my knees from giving out like my 99 Mazda on the highway. So good habit to make. And four, leave for the gym by 6.40 a.m. This gives me 10 minutes to get there. So then I've got an extra 10 minutes to get myself set up at the gym, find an open equipment, get my workout on. So then I can get home. I got about an hour to get ready for work, get some breakfast, shower, hit the road all over again. So in order to keep my little lizard brain in check, I'm going to reward myself at the end of each successful week with a small treat. This week, if I can make it to Sunday without breaking any of the four rules, I can sleep in until 8 a.m. I know, super late. <laughs> it's late enough to still feel like a reward, but early enough to not ruin my momentum. Because guess what? Next week, I'll be pushing it back the clock to 5.45 a.m. <sighs> uh, by week four, I'll be challenging myself to get up by 5.15 a.m. <laughs> uh, if I can complete all four weeks, then without breaking any of the rules, I'll get a big reward yet to be determined. Not sure what I'm thinking quite yet, but um, we'll figure that out as we go. So what's all this for? why torture myself into becoming a morning person when I so clearly am a night owl. Well, for one, I started working out regularly, and between the workout, drive time, and showering afterwards, I'm losing a lot of my evening time, time which could be spent writing, or YouTubing, or learning about filmmaking, all things that I really want to be doing with my time. And because my year-long goal, the big kahuna, <laughs> is to successfully YouTube once a week for a whole year. Uh, I've never accomplished this before. Um, <laughs> heck, I've never even made it in a further than a few semi-regular uploads for a few months. Um, but now that I'm no longer in college, my personal life isn't an active dumpster fire anymore, and I'm finding myself in a healthier mental space than I've been in years. So with time and a semi-functional brain, I've decided to devote this year to learning filmmaking skills, like audio and video editing, lighting, script writing for YouTube, and developing a style and voice of my own. So while this year will be full of healthy habits, like waking up at the ass crack of dawn and hitting the gym, it will also be a year of self-directed education. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time, like years and years long time. So I'm really excited to be actually starting on these goals now. And if you've made it this far in this video, thank you so much for joining me at the start of this journey. I really look forward to seeing you along the way. And if you can like, comment, and subscribe, that'll help me a long way in taking us from just a pipe dream into something more real. Later days, friends.